What's up guys, this is Frostrat Gaming, welcome to the channel! Today we're gonna do something a little different. Yep, we're gonna play games, but also we're gonna discuss a little bit about folklore. Now, if you'd rather skip straight to the game, the timestamp is around here somewhere. Go right ahead. I love folklore, I love mythologies and... Just a second. I most of all love the mythology and the lores about the undead. Now, this video has nothing to do with the undead, but this book is just so cool I wanted to share it with you guys, so bear with me. When I found out about Lempo and I realized it's about Finnish mythology, and as a Finn myself, it piqued my interest right away. If you think about folklore in general, that's an endless pool to draw from when it comes to gaming, literature, TV series, I mean, you name it, you got the picture. Lempo draws its influence from a mythical place-slash-phenomenon called Metsänpeitto. That's Finnish, and it roughly translates as forest's cover. Now try to say that out loud yourself. Let's have a Finnish lesson here. Metsänpeitto. Did you actually try it? I mean, if you did, comment down below and tell me how you did. Now, this phenomenon is used to describe people or domestic animals who went missing in the nature for unexplained reasons. People covered by forests were described as not being able to recognize the terrain around them, even if they were on familiar grounds. Or they might have walked endlessly through an unfamiliar terrain, not being able to return from where they came from. Or they got rendered paralyzed, unable to move or speak. Or they appeared like part of the nature around them, like a rock. On a side note, Metsenpeto is said to resemble Japanese kamikakushi, which means spiriting away. Let's talk about the game house behind Lembo. One Trick Entertainment is a small three-man game studio based around 2022, early 2022, that's what I remember at least, and each one of the guys quit their day jobs to be able to full-time develop this game. So that's commitment. That's, that tells me that they believe in their product. By the time of this recording, Lempo's trailer has been watched over 80,000 times on YouTube. So about the name of the game. What is Lempo? It is a mythical being, or one could say a god. And there is one theory that Lempo is actually former god of love, but not in a way we understand love today. Before modern concept of love, love was a thought of being like a dangerous, erratic power that could steal one's sanity and lead you to ruin. I mean, I'm glad that's not the case anymore. Wait, so usually Lempo is a wicked being in all folklore and mythology. After Christianity came to Finland, Lempo's reputation got even worse. They actually started to draw straight lines from Lempo to the devil itself. That's a quick recap of what this game is about and what the mythology behind the game is about. And now I think it's about time for us to get started with the game. Lempo the evil principle, offspring of demons, same as Hisi and Piru. Piru is the devil, in Finnish. Under a love spell men run and follow, to a maze where love and men turn hollow, only a few can escape, others fade away. That's a nice view of typical Finnish forest. Woods, even for a while. Like, at first you're in a place where you've been a hundred times. You know where you're coming from and you know where you're heading. You can't even imagine getting lost in here. It doesn't even cross your mind. 
But then you see something interesting like a cute animal or a good mushroom spot, and you take a couple steps off the path. You take a photo or pick up the mushrooms, and when you turn back, everything looks different. That's why I don't pick up mushrooms. Heart skips a beat. What if you can't find your way back to the right path? Of course, this usually lasts only a minute, and you're back on track in no time. But sometimes it can take a while, and sometimes you get truly lost. That's when you call someone and they send rescue people to get you. What if they can't find you? What if you are so lost? It's impossible for them to find you. Do you believe in fantasy worlds? I didn't either. Until I found myself in one. Oh, promising? Promising? I like the eeriness. The night started out as any night. I was the last to leave the office. One thing we need to keep in mind is that this is still a demo, so we might find things that that aren't supposed to whoa, happen. That's f very, very dark. <sighs> what a week. Press Q to toggle UI elements. You can see your health and current objectives. Close down the office before leaving. Okay. Should we... Oh! Oh, it's a door! Haha! Uh -huh. We play Dark Souls and Little Nightmares. Hey, so do I! I like where your mind's at. Kitchen. Oh, the cleaning people left their trolley there. Potato chips. Fishing hot. More cups. Jim is a cleaning enthusiast. What's in the fridge? Oh, pizza! Okay, can't take the pizza. Kind of hungry though. Uh, okay, 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 maybe... Maybe I should just go and try to close things up here. Oh, hey, what's this? A wooden dog. A dog to a toy dog with the name Elizabeth on the bottom. Is this supposed to be open? Okay, let's just move ahead. Okay, you must be... Oh! An orb of light. Okay, can't go there, so let's just follow the orb. What's that? Press for that I got your lighter. It's an infinite light source. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Okay, probably better... Be, probably better just to follow the light. And just like that, I was lost. And we find a mushroom. Eating a mushroom will give you a little bit of health. Huh, so if we try to get back now... We cannot. Cool. A game by One Trick Entertainment. Only one way. Or many ways, but I think we are best off following that one. Health, shro health shrooms. Bugged me that I couldn't find the office. I was certain I hadn't wandered that far, and the forest around me didn't seem familiar at all. 
Resisting the dark forces of the forest is tiring and slowly consumes your vitality. Ninety-eight. Find a way back to the office. This wasn't my idea of a family zone. Uh, can we? We can crouch. We can jump. Elijah's old stroller. Elijah. Who is Elijah? Elijah had the same teddy when he was little. Can browse your items, documents, collected souls and lighters. Soul residue. Okay. Uh, it's pretty dark, but not so dark that I would need to crank up the lights just yet. my phone or is there phone here somewhere did I blow out a candle okay where are we going what the heck is this Use three soul residues as fuel. Yes, we don't. We do not have enough fuel for. Oh, five soul residue. And is this soul light prevents you from getting tired? Click the little lantern to save. It was hard to continue, but I knew I had to. Game saved. Okay, well... They said there was... No hand holding. I have no idea what we are up against or what to do. Oh! But we could probably fall down there. Which wouldn't be a great idea. Another save. What just happened? There is the lantern. Hmm. Maybe we follow the orb still. Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. The old man who lived here never played never played with me. May you play. Let's go hide and seek. I hide first, find me. He. Okay. Sure. Oh, let's not kill the lights. What's that? I swear the light only made some twinkling noise, but somehow I understood it perfectly. Well, good for you. There seems to be two objects missing. Uh, kidneys? Okay, we need to steal some kidneys from somebody. I read something about we should be having a compass. Only those who give in at least a little can see the truth. Truth of what? A truth about this place, maybe? Hmm. Oh, is that her? Yeah, I'm running all the time. Can't you tell? More soul residue. Oh. Huh. What's this? Weird. So like glass on top of it so I wouldn't fall down. 
Well, but we found our friend. I wanna go again. Well, please do. Don't let me stop you. Okay, what's this? Another candle. Oh, Serpent's Trial Stone. One of the kidneys, maybe. When snakes have their trials in the spring, they hold these stones in their mouths. If loaded with snake blood, the stone can give you back your strength. Filling the stone consumes soul residue. Press 1 to quick heal. Oh. Mushroom eaten? I didn't try to eat a mushroom. Use the snake altar to load the serpent stone with blood. Click the blood vial. Loading consumes soul residue. Um. Stone field. Got it. I think I'm gonna be very lost very soon. I kind of just want to stay on the path. The shell. What the hell? Maybe somebody lives inside that. What's, what's this? The shell maintenance document. Someone seems to have been studying this place. And the steps might be dangerous. The shell maintenance. The shell has a malfunctioning step that should be fixed ASAP. At its current state, it is both difficult and unnecessarily dangerous to get up. Other than that, everything seems to be in order to be... Seems to be in order to be honest. There is no new findings regarding the shell since the shake. Morgan Smith. What the hell is that thing? Ah, fresh soul, you have that newborn smell. Get comfy, there's no getting back. We are all here for good. Stuck until Lempo has eaten all there is to eat. And will be nothing but dry strings. Literally. Okay. Sorry if I'm being bleak, but that's just how it is. One thing you can maybe do to prolong your being. There's supposed to be a small bell here somewhere. It could help you avoid the things that should be avoided. But so far the atmosphere is really spot on. Oh. Ah. Okay, it goes way up. The main elevator is broken. Sorry, all the elevator step is broken, and thanks for fixing things, George. So I rigged one of the other steps to function as a backup. Just use the usual lever to control the platforms and then use the backup here. Let's hope this is only a very temporary situation, a solution. Sorry once again for the inconvenience. So this is for this one. And is this the main elevator thingy? A reminder. Important, always remember to lower the first steps after using them. We don't want any creatures getting to the upper controls. Creatures. What creatures? So what about these? These go up. These go up. 
I can tell you one thing, I'm getting small chills like every once in a while from the sounds. So the sound design seems to be doing what it's meant to do. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Ah. But that's, that's too high. Oh! These. I just gotta be brave. I gotta be brave. I'm a brave boy. I... I try. Whoop! I have no idea why I'm... why I'm going up here in the first place. Although I have no idea why I am here in the first place. Oh! She was here! You should take your time, even the fisherman's dog. Oh, didn't you think the rock is a bit weird? I think it's weird. Yeah, I think it's weird too. What's inside there? Some greenish glow. Oh, I was about to check my vitality. Sudden, suddenly remembered it was a thing. Came saved. 72, I'm fine. Let's go see what's down there. I remember hoping so bad that there would be someone inside the shell. I would be in trouble for being somewhere I clearly shouldn't be. But at least I wouldn't be alone. Is this some kind of meteorite? Again, it's very dark in here. This isn't at all what I was expecting. Like all the tech here. Let's try the most universal one. One, two, three, four. No. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Well, I have no clue. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Who are you? Why are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on here, guys? Uh, prevents you from getting tired. Oh, but... Right, we can't... We can't do anything else. Maybe we use the stone. Okay, now that we are in our senses again, we stop seeing things. I think it's needless to say that there shouldn't be a phone ringing here. No, that's a mushroom. Okay. Doctor Who's bo phone booth. Nothing in the phone 
processing the demo. Okay. What's this? An old minecart. Tracks. And... Oh. Interesting. Pay six soul residue to open. We have five. What's this? Now we found... Oh, it's the bell. A tiny metal bell. It will keep bears away when wandering in the forest. If you hear the bell ring, something dangerous is close. Works again after a short while. Something dangerous is close. Oh, nice. I sure can't wait to hear that bell chime. Okay, the cabin in the woods. Really good movie, by the way. You, su you should check that one out. Noses. Right fingers. Eyes. Okay. Should I be stealing noses and eyes and fingers from... something? Some things? Oh, right. Noses, right fingers, eyes. Is it real? <laughs> okay. Guys, is it that simple? We have a... Uh, we have one nose. We have five fingers in our right hand. And we have two eyes. Some might call me dumb for not thinking about that earlier. One, five, two. Get the key. Okay, well that was quite long, quite a long while of endless wandering. Hands. Sleep here. Uh, not yet. I'll check this first. Journal page two. Couldn't I check the page one first? Uh, sleep 31. I don't know if the entity is just toying with me, but I found some pretty convincing looking lab equipment in a cave south of here. Could it be that someone knows about this place and has even managed to study it? That would mean that there most likely is a safe way out. Safe way out too. Could something like this have remained a secret? I'll investigate further tomorrow. Sleep 32. Looks like there has not been anyone on the site for some time. Sleep 33. I found a second metal ear that looks like it could fit in the, into the stone door outside. It was in the cave. I'm going to use it now in case it's one of those disappearing things. The code to the door was was written on a document. 4499. Thank you. The time of day doesn't seem to change here. I've decided to start counting my sleeps. I don't know how many times I have slept before I started counting. Maybe nine. It's now sleep two officially. Sleep 3. I met a man. He doesn't talk much, but seems to have been here a long time. I gathered that he had he was once a sailor of some kind. At first I was happy to see someone, but he can't help me. He said there is only one way out. Wouldn't say what that is. He has a nice dog. Sleep 4. The damn dog stole my compass. The sailor didn't care when I told him. Fortunately, this place is so small I can quite easily find my way around without it. Stupid dog. So page 1 was page 2, and page 2 was page 1. Oh, right. We can take these. Another battery. 
Is there anything else to scavenge from this hut? I don't like the creaking. What's this? Note about a stranger. An elderly wanderer came and knocked at the door last night. His jaw was covered by a large white beard and his eyes were covered by the hood of his cape. He smelled like conifers, liquor and honey and didn't speak much. I offer you my mother's protection. After that he pushed me aside and stepped in and waved his hand a few times next to a wall, chanting words that made no sense to me. I thought he might be on drugs so I didn't try to stop him. Those people can do anything, it provoked. After maybe a minute he, has, he was done and left without a word. This morning a glowing picture had appeared on the wall. This only adds to the strange things happening here. But the encounter with the man somehow made me feel safe. Uh, pictures. Cameroid photo. What's that? Okay. Yeah, I know what that place is. I think. Oh. A map. Ah. Well, that helps a bit. The anchor. Uh, I don't think I can go there though in the demo. Oh, shit. Let's take this also. And maybe have a good night of sleep. Yep. Do we heal when we sleep? Can't remember if that's been told already. Okay, so what was it? 4499. We are relatively safe. Okay. Uh, I. Uh, should I? What the fuck happened here? Um, he turned into a soul residue, and we got a flashlight. Press three or F to equip. Okay, we have three batteries, so this is this is good. Okay, so the piles of ashes. I think we figured out what are they from. Maybe that's what happens when Lembo claims another victim. But now let's head for the head for the shell. Yeah, I know that one already. What's that hunk of meat over there? Is that a head of a pig? What the actual... Oh my god. Okay, move on. Move along. Nothing to see here. Okay. Uh, 4499. Thank you. Hello, here? Ooh. What? Sleep here? Like, right now? No thanks. Uh, tools. What's this? Glowing rock. Provides very little light, but it's better than nothing. So if it's quiet around, you can almost hear the stone hum. Glowing crystal can reveal hidden secrets. Listen to the hum it makes when something interesting is near. Testing. So like that. Can we fix that? I don't think so. Doesn't seem intractable. Oh, let's take that down. Item 4658, the levitating cube. 
In the center of the cave is a cube made of unknown material, probably me some metal that seems to be floating in the air. There is a volatile electric field surrounding it. When we started measuring it three weeks ago, the pulsating force was initiating, initiated once every uh, 63 seconds. For a couple of days, the interval has stayed constant. For a couple of days, the interval stayed constant, but after that, it has slowly been happening more and more. At the time of writing this, the pulse interval is 55 seconds. Oh, shit. The electric force around the cube has not changed, but it remains impossible to penetrate. The force destroys every instrument we take too close. A guard even tried to shoot it, but we were able to determine from a slow motion video capture that the bu uh, bullet vaporized before contact with the rock. We believe there to be something inside the cube. Our, in our initial measuring suggested some kind of mechanism. But the force around it makes research challenging. Pulse interval 55 seconds. And now it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds. Okay, nothing else here. Can we. Oh, we need the key card must remain closed under all circumstances. Contamination. What contamination? Sleep? No, we're not gonna sleep here. Oh, shit. I think we should have slept there. Thanks. Uh. Okay, let's go and see what the fuss is about. Is that a lab coat? With some bloody mess inside it. Oh! Oh, that's why. Shit. Uh, shrooms? So we need to run. But we go here. Who the hell is this guy? If it's any guy. Um. Okay. Uh, there is no suitable key in inventory. Fine. So, not yet. Unless, unless, can we do something about this? No. So residue, and what's this? Last message. I'm not sure who did what, but somehow I think two people got caught in the rock blast. There was nothing left to identify them with, just blood everywhere. I don't know if the rock did something unusual or was some equipment misplaced. But our traverse device was destroyed in the blast as well, so we have no way of getting home or contacting base. We've traveled to this dimension and back so many times that it started to feel ordinary. I forgot how, I forgot how groundbreaking technology we had and how impossible it is to replace without help from outside. There is no food. The water in the shell tastes like rust. I can hear the creatures every time I close my eyes. I don't think I will make it. Now let's run again. And again. Is there a key card here? Yeah? Uh what's this? Some sort of wall paintings. I hear whispering. Stop whispering. Oh, these all are... Oh! What the fuck? I wasn't even in the blast radius. Okay, so we need to sleep. And heal. And probably see something horrible when we wake up.
or not. Fine. I think we should keep this glowing rock at us all times. So, contamination warning for what exactly? Key. High tech key of some sort. The matter has become unstable and we can no longer work on it. Okay, so suits. What? Well, it's been a week now since your last contact. It's becoming dauntingly clear that something has gone wrong. We are working under the assumption that you are still alive and well. And rest assured that we are doing all we can here to get you out of there as soon as possible. Who? Please, whatever you do, do not leave the shell. Do not leave the shell. We might only be able to activate the connection for a brief moment, and it's immensely important that you stay nearby. We hope to see you also. Stay strong. Okay. So this place has been under investigation for quite some time. Something is growing from the toilet. That's only a soul residue. Door unlocked. Trident. Which makes my fingers tingly when touched. Well, yeah, let's take the freaking trident. Why not? Mm. But what do we do with it? Maybe go down there. Hopefully I can. Or... Elizabeth, it knows you are here. I feel it. It's mad. Would you take me with you, please? Soul collected. Elizabeth. Okay. Was that it? Did we just need to pick up Elizabeth before moving on? No. Okay. Uh, souls. Tree of souls. Elizabeth. A lovely girl living with her father after her mother died gi giving birth. She had the brightest eyes and smiled at one over everyone. Lempo took her when she was only nine. She just wants to find someone to play with. We didn't check this thoroughly. Oh, oh hell. Did that shut down the stone? Or the cube? Oh. Blood and blood and more blood. Blood everywhere. Makes me wonder if it just gradually made the pulse faster and faster or did it have a major jump? Because they clearly didn't. They clearly didn't realize it was gonna happen. Uh, should I use the glowstone? I should. Okay. Is this the way? Oh, right, the outer rim is not yet in place. Now it is. Gold handle. 
This thing must weigh at least 10 kilos. So put this here. And pull it out. Pull what out? Oh, this way. Ah, strange metal ear. We found one of them. It's cold and very heavy. So not a kidney. Fine. Could we now leave from down here? Another pool. Oh, and a save place. Finally. Why do they float? Oh, and do we now actually get to get up from the one place we tried to open or what we couldn't open before? Oh. Hi. Oh, ding! Okay. Oh, shit. Maybe run now. Tap R while running to sprint. Shit, shit, shit. Do we need. How can we escape this? Uh, it's the. The one place closer to the start of the game. Is that like a safe. Safe place from this. And what's that Lembo? Is that Lembo that's after us now? Oh fuck, oh fuck, this. Stop getting tired. Okay, I think... I think this was not a good idea. Thanks for playing, this isn't the end, there's more to come. Okay, so we couldn't even do more than this. So there it is, guys. Lembos demo done. I liked it. I, I really did. The atmosphere was great. I mean, the sounds, the uh, the general aesthetics, the darkness itself, it gave you the constant, uh, constant feeling of unease, and it didn't go away. I mean, sure, it was frustrating from time to time, not knowing where to go or what to do. But they, they did warn us there would, wouldn't be any hand-holding, so that's fine. I think some of the mechanics need a bit more tweaking, which I'm sure it will be done. But most of all the jumping, uh, it was quite feelless or senseless. I, didn't, I never knew how far my jump would take me, but that's okay so far. But there were many moments when the hairs on the back of my neck went straight up. The trees that were shaped like humanoid figures, they constantly kept you on your toes. Well, at least they kept me on my toes. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of good things happening here. So I think One Trick Entertainment, they are on a right path. They know what they're doing, they just need to tweak some things out and then push this out and I will be playing this immediately when it comes out. But I think that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Drop down some comments. What did you think about this game? Leave it a like if you liked it. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.